Two ships closed. Testing. 0.11.5. Researchable British battleships Indefatigable, renowned and hawk British cruiser Hampshire, Pan American battleship Rio de Janeiro, and Commonwealth destroyer Huron have been added to the game for testing. Wow, this looks. Why does this look like it's really low polygon or like it looks really little somehow? Why does it look so little? Alright, right? It looks incomplete. Like, it looks like there, there's still a lot of stuff they need to add that they just haven't added. IRL, those ships were ass. <laughs> okay, good to know. I mean, to be fair, if you chat, if you ever feel overlooked in life or you ever feel useless in life, remember that there are artists that are commissioned to model tier two, three, four uh, ships in World of Warships that no one plays anyway. So, it could, okay, remember, it could always be worse. A classic example of a first-generation British battlecruiser combining on one hand the armament and dimensions of a dreadnought battleship and on the other hand the speed and armor of a cruiser. Shit, the armor of a cruiser? Uh-oh. Hmm. British battleship renowned. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. The lead ship of a class of battlecruisers which, at the time they entered service, were the largest and fastest representative of their type in the world. The ship was armed with 381mm main battery guns and underwent an extensive retrofit in the 1930s, which strengthened its armor and AA defenses. Oh, baby, renowned. Shoosh! If, if it's anything like the Repulse, it's going to be really good. Repulse is really strong. Repulse is really strong, so if the Renown is anything like it, it's going to be quite nutty. It looks different from the Repulse, it does. I wonder if this, I wonder if these strengthened AA defenses are actually going to do anything in World of Warships, that remains to be seen. Generally when Wargaming tells that one of the features of the ship is strong AA, it's kind of a death sentence for the ship because they, they actually never want to make AA strong enough to actually be really strong. Like when they say the ship has strong armor, then we're talking Kremlin. When they say the ship has powerful guns, then we're talking like Thunder Shikishima. Um, but then when we're talking strong AA, then it's like, uh, you can annoy the carrier. And usually you have to give a ton of trade-offs in order to get that strong AA. I mean, look at the Dutch cruiser line. The dear gimmick is strong AA. And planes and in return they they burn for ages they got horrible accuracy horrible reload like it's just oof it's just oof so generally speaking the trade-offs whenever wargaming gives someone strong aa are awful british battleship hawk tier 8 okay those are the flat royal navy turrets generally speaking you don't want turrets like this in World of Warships, you generally speaking don't want these flat turrets. Um, they break super easy. That's a lot of, oh my god, that's a lot of freeboard. Is it just me or is it sitting very lightly in the water as well? Sitting pretty high in the water, right? Hmm. We shall see. Free turret set up a lot of broadside, a lot of, a lot of freeboard, a lot of broadside. Reminds me of a monarch that's just a lot higher in the water, which generally isn't that good of a sign. A powerful battle cruiser armed with nine 406 mm guns. Its AA suit is made up of dual purpose and dedicated anti aircraft weaponry from the 1930s and 1940s. Once again, this doesn't mean that you actually have any AA. I mean, look at Montana. It's packed with bow force and it sucks at shooting down planes. Further details about the gameplay concept behind the new British, British battleships as well as the reason for choosing the name Hawk are available in a separate blog post. Greece British battleships will benefit from the new torpedo turning mechanic. 
This mechanic is based on a method used in real life to correct the course of a torpedo after launch. In the game, the mechanic serves to expand the aiming possibilities for ships with limited or fixed torpedo tube angles, as it allows for launching torpedoes in directions that the tubes themselves cannot physically turn towards. Immediately after launch, torpedoes will change course towards the selected direction and continue in a straight line. Wait, so can you launch... Can I launch torpedoes out like this and then have them curve to go forward? I guess that's... That's the idea. I mean, I know we make fun of them for create a problem, sell the solution, but... <laughs> this is taking it to the next level. After the whole torpedo issue, torpedoes not going where you aimed. That entire bug, and now, now this. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, I don't this. I don't see this as a gen, that much of an issue. Uh, you just have to take it into into account. Um, it seems like an interesting mechanic. I mean, one could hope that the submarines would have had a mechanic like this instead of the stupid homing mechanic, which is so goddamn stupid. Make one correction only. That's fine. That's fine. That's not an issue. I don't. I don't really see an issue with this mechanic. It's a new mechanic, but generally speaking, provided it's not too completely Pepega proof, it might not be the easiest mechanic to use, which means that the average torpedo user is gonna suck at it. Yeah, I wonder if you can torp around islands now? There's some interesting options here, like you, gr you ground into an island and you select your torpedoes and launch them around like this. It depends on what kind of curvature we're dealing with here and, and how much they, they leave the ship before turning and so forth, but the the mechanic sounds interesting. The mechanic sounds interesting. A lot more interesting than stupid ping and homing mechanics. Holy shit, submarines, what a disaster. Every time every time you want to highlight like a bad mechanic in World of Warships, you quote carriers or you quote submarines. You notice that. Whenever you want to highlight something like, wow, this spotting mechanic would really break the game, then you mention CV as, a, as an example, or like, this this ping mechanic is dumb as bricks, and then you mention submarines. Like, whenever you want to quote a really bad design in World of Warships, it's submarines or carriers. It's, it's insane. Commonwealth Destroyer Huron. Hmm. Hmm. Depends on how immediately it's meant. Mm, how long after launching do you have to select the course? Or do you have to select the course before launching? Okay, what is this? This looks like Haida. This isn't Haida G23? So this is what, Haida class? Tri or tribal? Yeah. A tribal class destroyer built for the Royal Canadian Navy. Unlike the British tribals, which all entered service before the start of World War II, Huron had enhanced anti-aircraft armament at the expense of mine one main battery turret. Oh, Jesus. This, a lot of, you notice how every single ship they're selling is an AA ship? You notice how basically every single ship they're selling is talking about their AA, anti-aircraft, strengthened AA, like, it's all of this, except the tier 3, all of these, this is classic wargaming, create a problem, sell the solution. They know CVs are broken, they know AA doesn't do shit, so every single new ship is selling the solution, and every single new ship is being advertised as having improved AA. Because they know that the ships in the game right now don't have enough AA. Mm. Thank you, Detonation 37. But this is like, this is class. This is one of the things I really dislike. This is just, they know people hate the current situation with carriers. They know people don't think AA is strong enough. They are well aware. It's not like they haven't seen the comments or read the feedback or well, or just seen all the spam that gets directed at them every fucking single day or the fact that carriers are permanently banned from all form of competitive gameplay. It, they know. It's just that they don't see it economically feasible to do anything about it when instead they can sell you the solution to it and that's really frustrating to me like really ass Huron is armed with 620 millimeter guns with a good rate of fire and powerful shells for the caliber the arcing trajector of the main battery guns will facilitate firing at targets from behind island cover oh god will facilitate firing the targets from behind island cover. In other words, the shell arcs are terrible. 
but make it difficult to hit enemies at extreme ranges. Yep, oh god. Turan is also equipped with quadruple torpedo launcher that deals high damage and has the ability to launch torpedoes one by one, though they have a rather long reload time. The ship has superior engine settings that allow it to accelerate very quickly and is moreover equipped with an engine boost consumable with a long action time. Oh, Hendrix Jucarinos. The rest of its arsenals of consumables made of hydro with a rather high detection range for a destroyer and repair party. Okay. It still has six guns, long hydro, speed boost, and a heal. What can fight this thing at tier 7? What DD fights this thing at tier 7? No smoke, yeah, but I mean, if you're running at an enemy DD. Cossack gets hydro. That's the thing, long duration hydro. It, it depends on really what kind of concealment is it going to get. If it gets anything close to Hydra concealment, which is really, really good, it's literally going to spot the enemy DD at the same time as it's spotted, keep pushing with heal, speed boost, and hydro, and the other guy gets screwed and has to run away. 3 km hydro. No, it literally says hydro acoustic search with a rather high detection range for a destroyer. Rather high detection range for a destroyer. That that does not mean 3k either. No way. Cossack is a tier 8, exactly. 4k hydro. Hmm. 4k might might not be that bad. It's gonna it might depends on its concealment really. It's gonna depend on its concealment. Still, this thing seems pretty scary. Pan American Battleship Rio de Janeiro. Oh, stats are below. Okay, we can check that out. We can check that out. No need to speculate. Holy shit. God damn. I mean, I, I dig the look of the ship. Rio de Janeiro. Unique seven turret. Jesus, seven turret? Wait, what the hell? Are these like, these are below. They can turn both ways. What the f Jesus, that's a lot of guns. The ship is armed with 14 305mm main battery guns that enjoy good accuracy and high salvo weight. What? Rio de Janeiro's HE shells deal high damage, have good armor penetration parameters, and a relatively high chance to set fires. The AP shells, however, are weaker than those of other battleships of the same tier. Who cares if you got 14 HE shells that crack people open? The ship also has a large helpful and good concealment, but has low speed and lacks AA. So does every tier 5. Even the Texas these days can't really defend its own. Unlike Agincourt, Rio de Janeiro has more accurate main battery guns, better HE shells and faster reload time, but also weaker secondary battery. Jesus. Is that Agincourt? Yeah, Agincourt would like crack the HE. Hampshire. Whoa! Wait, this is a cruiser? What the hell is this abomination? Okay, what the, interesting. A development of the Surrey class heavy cruisers, this ship is armed with 10 203mm guns. They are equipped only with AP shells with improved ricochet angles and a high muzzle velocity. Hampshire is also armed with two quadruple torpedo launchers with the ability single launch. The ship has weak armor but special engine settings similar to cruiser Minotaur. It can quickly accelerate. Hampshire equipped with hydrox search and defensive AA consumables in different slots. That's it? No heal. No heal, no smoke. Oh boy. Wonder what the armor is like. Wait, weak armor and no heal and no smoke. No heal, no smoke and weak armor? How do you trade with anything then? If it angles against your AP and you only have AP, what do you, how do you trade with anything? Jesus. Jesus, that's gonna be oof. This thing is gonna suck up tiered. Like, generally speaking, if you're up tiered, you suck if you don't have HE. Because HE is the only way to deal with higher tier ships, because they have so much more health, you need the fire percentage ticks to burn them. And if you can't do that, then you're just well out of luck. Two quadruple torpedo launchers. 
So one per side, four torps per side. That's not exactly particularly expressive, uh, impressive. Okay, a lot of the naming things. Let's check the stats. Indefatigable, 13 camera range. I mean, this is tier three. Tier three, who really cares, honestly? Who really cares? H harsh to say, but who really cares? Captains can choose to fire off individuals or expand the entire launcher. That's really good. Single launch on a battleship. Single launch on a tier three battleship, actually. Wait, really? That's pretty. Wait, it's only 2x1, though. Never mind. Who cares? <laughs> And they do, they do no damage. Never mind. Really accurate for tier 3 though. 1.8 Sigma is good for tier 3. Okay, let's see. Renown. This was the one that advertised for good AA. 16.9 game range, maximum shell damage. Strong HE pen, decent fire chance for tier 6. 27 reload. That's not too bad. 1.8 Sigma, also not too bad. 8x1 Torps. 8x1, okay, 10 km, range 6 km, speed 53, real time, instead of choosing me wide, caps can choose to fire off individual, was, this was the one with the curving torps, was, no, that was the next one, that was the next one with the curving torps, 8x1, interesting, a secondary arm, oh, here's the AA, okay, so they promised, it, it promised this thing was going to have, like, reworked AA, let's see what it actually has, Okay, every single ball, every, all the AA, look at this, this is exactly what I mean. All the AA is in AA defense short range, 480. This is the worst fucking aura you can possibly have. This is a two kilometer circle around your ship. Every single, like basically 90% of the CVs will never actually enter this aura because they're, they're going to drop you outside of this aura. And it's got a 70% hit probability, so it actually drops down significantly. But even then, like... Only planes that are literally hovering on top of you are going to suffer from this. The vast majority of the time, they're not going to eat any damage at all. And then it drops off literally by fucking 80% to this. And then it drops off another to this. With a hit probability of 75. And you have a total of one fucking flak. One flak. This AA is basically completely useless. This, this thing is basically completely useless. Only the dive bombers on top of you will, will, will eat some damage, and even then it's debatable how much they're actually going to eat. This is what I mean when they say a ship has great AA, like it gets everything else nerfed and then it has great AA. It doesn't actually have great in AA in World of Warships, because they don't want to give it good AA. They give you this meme shit that doesn't do anything. It's, it's really annoying, because I, I would be okay with having a ship that takes trade-offs in return for having actually really strong AA. But Wargaming doesn't give strong AA to these ships. Like the best AA in the game is basically Russian or, or light cruiser AA. And no one plays light cruisers, so the ones that benefit the most right now are basically Russian ships. Because they got that long range, super long range flak with good accuracy. Alternatively, Holland. And once again, Holland's strength is a lot of uh, high continuous and a lot of hard hitting flak. Like, this is, this is dread. This doesn't do shit. Tragic. 30 knot speed, that's pretty good. Pretty rough handling for a tier 6. Surface detect is very good. Surface detect is, well, quite good. Quite good, honestly, for a tier 6. The smoke fire concealment doesn't make any sense, but what do I know? It's really low. Hawk. 70.6k health for tier 8. That's that's a lot for tier eight. That's a lot of health. Twenty-five millimeter plating, though. Jesus, that's not very good. But has defensive AA, yeah. And the issue with defensive AA, as always, is that defensive AA is a percentage-based buff. So this aura will benefit. The least useful aura will benefit the most. But that's the tragic part. Because it's percentage based, so. 3x3406, 18.2 cam range, that's nice. That It's almost uh, Christopher Colombo range. 6k HE shell. 45% fire chance, holy, with 45% fire chance on a tier 8? Jesus. 
That's kind of filthy with 68 millimeter pen. Jesus. Wait, what the f hold on. AP shell on 126 shell. Reload time 30. Well, does this thing have battleship or battle cruiser dispersion? Does this thing have battle 201 at 18.2? 201 at 18.2. Wait, 201 at 18.2. Let me check. These things have like 19 camera, it's way too much range. Uh, this one has 18. It's got 119. It's battleship dispersion. That's doesn't Zetan have BB dispersion? Zetan has BB. It's the same dispersion. Zetan has BC, really? Oh, Zetan had BC. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Let's look at this. Let's zoom on. 19km, 183. This is much better. This is much, this is longer range but much tighter. It's not as good as that. No way. Alaska's 19, 193. Alaska has better dispersion. At more range. How much is this playing into it? All right. Oh, it is actually going to be. It's going to be. It's playing quite a bit into it, actually. So it's going to be battle cruiser dispersion, but which is something of a saving grace. It's it's going to be something of a saving grace then. It's going to be something of a saving grace that it has uh, battle cruiser dispersion. The problem here is, of course. Yeah, no, this is much worse. It's going to be something of a saving grace, but this is still dreadful. 1.5 Sigma. 1.5 Sigma on it is, is fucking brutal. With a 30 second reload? That's going to be brutal. That's actually not good at all. Yeah, I don't know about this thing. Seems questionable. 4x1 launchers, maximum speed, range 8k. Really, launcher. This this one had the curving torps. I wonder how it's gonna actually work. Secondary armament. Didn't this thing have improved AA as well? Okay, this thing actually gets it on a more useful aura. It gets it on the mid-range aura. The mid-range aura is already a lot more useful because the area becomes significantly bigger. So having it on a mid-range is already better at 3.5, but obviously one of the great features of the Soviet, all the Soviet carriers is that they strike you from outside of the AA areas. So still only 75% hit rate and still only 70%, which is obviously going to drag it down quite a bit. Uh, but you got to remember Soviet carriers, which is basically considered ridiculously strong right now, they completely ignore all of this. They just drop you so from outside of it, so they never actually enter it. Yeah, this is not very good, and only four flak. Does they doesn't give they don't give the accuracy on the flak, but I assume it's going to be seventy five percent as well. Yeah, you're you're not gonna def you're gonna face tier ten carriers in this thing. You're, you're never gonna defend yourself. Maximum speed 30.5, turning signal 910, 16 second rudder shift, Jesus. Okay, this thing doesn't handle well, holy. 15 km detect, it's okay. You gotta remember, you got modules on top. Uh, interesting. Damage control, repair, defensive. 423 healing. Uh, that's a lot of healing, isn't it? Reload time 60 seconds on us as well. That's a really short cooldown actually. 60 seconds? Wait, hold on. How much does this thing heal? It's healing... Wait, it's healing... Uh, 4, 2, 3 times 6 times 28 
times 1.2 because you're running the flag. 14k a pop. It's 14k a pop. And with that, then you add the. It's 14k a pop. Then you add this thing, which is another 10%. So you add another 1.1, 1 .1. 15, 56, and then you got five charges. That's a fair bit of healing. That's a fair bit of healing on this thing. Hmm, interesting. Cunningham skill, Cunningham skill is not a guarantee. Still, that's a lot of heal on a very short cooldown. Interesting. Rich Cruiser, Hampshire. 5x2, 203, 15.7 cam range, oh boy, okay, that's not very good, 10 second reload, that's pretty nice, 2.0 sigma, pretty okay turret traverse, 2x4, launchers, 10 cam range on them, speed 62, okay, very stealthy torps, AA is, oh god, no long range AA at all, this is 2 and 2.5, two and the long range is do dog, and this thing is only 1260. Yikes. Was that what Flamu said about Ragnar? What? Yes, that's totally what I said. You got me. Detected Casper on the case. Maximum speed 30 knots, turning circle. Seven, nice turn. Oh, it's a cruiser though. Not that good. Rudership. 12.3 detect. This thing was tier 8, right? So how stealthy do we get this thing? We get 12.3 uh, times the one camo times concealment expert times camo. 9.7 about? 9.7? Is that your woman smashing downstairs? Yep. Hmm. Damage control hydro. Three five km hydro. Defensive fighter. Wow! It actually doesn't get any heal or any smoke. On a, it's got 15.7 km range, 25 millimeter plating, no heal. Only AP. Jesus. We'll see how this one works in, but... Yeah, that seems questionable. 30 knots of speed as well. Good luck, good luck juking or kiting with that. Interesting. Okay, let's see. The final Huron. This one was interesting. 15.7k health, plating 16mm, 3x2, 512.3 kilometers. Itchy shell damage, yeah, okay, standard, 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 reload time 4.5, that's actually not bad at all for 6 seconds. Wait, what's Cossack? What's, what's Cossack? Oops, wrong. Mm, where's my Cossack? 5 seconds, but it's got an extra turret. I know it. I think I have a captain. No, I don't have any captain points. I don't have any captain points. So it's five seconds. But Corsica is eight. Why are you saying 5.5? Do I have some modules on? No, it's five. It's five, it's five. So you lose, but you lose an entire turret. You lose an entire turret, then you get 4.5. You lose an entire turret, but you get 4.5. That's Cossack. Interesting. But this one is a tier 7, so it, it gets 4.5 second reload with one turret less. We, oh yeah, we should compare it to Hyda. Actually, not Cossack. Cossack is cracked. Let's look at Hyda. 
Haida has the same guns with 5 second reload. Wait, it has more firepower than Haida. Interesting. So it has objectively more firepower than Haida. 10% better than Haida. And Haida is really good. Haida is really, really good. Okay, so 10% better DPM than Haida. Torpedo tubes, hard hitting torps, 17k, 8k, good speed. Okay. Secondary AA. The AA is complete dog, it doesn't do anything. 36.5 speed. 36. Point, this is with flag, I think. I think the flag is missing. Right yeah, same speed. Same speed as high up. Training circle is really good. Handle surface detect 7.1. 7.1. So we get it down to. We get it down to. 6.2. 6.2 at tier 7. That's pretty fucking strong. That's pretty fucking strong. For tier 7, 6.2 is very competitive. Like, some of the best concealment is shit like Shira and Haida at, what, 5.8? It's worse than Haida, sure, but 6.2 is still very strong. Shit, Haida has 5.4. No way does Haida have 5.4. Does it really? Oh shit, wait, really? How fucking broken is this dumb ship? No, it's 5.7. 5.7. I'm like, no way it has 5.4. Jervis is 6.4, I think Mayhan is like 6.6. So 6.2 is very good. 6.2 is very good. Okay, let's see. This is the interesting part. Ship detection 4. Interesting. It's got an 8 speed boost. So wait, how fast does this thing do? With speed flag it does 38.3 times... It does 41.4 knots with the speed boost. It runs at you with better than high the firepower. It's got a 4 km hydro. And then it's gonna heal. How much can it heal? The heal doesn't look that strong. It only gets 2 charges. You're gonna run superintendent probably on this thing though. I'm gonna earn superintendent, but it's only really 10 seconds with the, with the flag, it's gonna be 12. So 12 times 157. 2k heal, that's not much. That's that's not 1.9k heal, really. Did they call this AA good? Because this AA is complete shit. Still, this thing looks pretty strong. Like, if he comes running at you with 41, 41, 42 knots, he comes running at you straight forward, guns are blazing, hydro running, and you're caught nose in. By the time you've turned your ship around and stopped and smoked, he's already got you in hydro. And it's got a sh it's got 10% more DPM than Hydra. That's kind of scary. I think this thing is going to be really powerful. But surely they didn't say this thing has good AA. Surely. Hurun had enhanced anti-aircraft armament at the expense of one main battery turret. Enhanced, by the way. Enhanced AA, by the way. They're so full of shit. What? Where is the enhanced AA? 35 DPS at tier 7? 18 DPS. What the fuck do you expect me to shoot down with 35 and 18 DPS? You lose a turret for this dog? I mean, this aura isn't even going to hit anything. This aura isn't going to do anything. So you're relying on the long range aura because this isn't even 3.5, it's 2.5. So you got 18 DPS and one fucking flak that does less than 1.2k. This AA won't do a single goddamn thing. Uh, seagulls? I don't even know if this could shoot down seagulls. Like, this is, this is tragic. This is tragic. A fat seagull? I mean, if the seagull has 1.8k health, it's gonna take you 100 seconds to shoot down that seagull. This is a tragedy. 
This is a tragedy of AA. How much health does Spotter planes have? Like, can you even shoot down a spot? How much health does Spotter planes have at this gym? Can we tell? Tier 7. It's got a tier 7. Mayoka has a Spotter one, doesn't care. Can we actually tell how much health it has? No, we can't. Unfortunate. I wonder how much health a fighter has. Maybe here. That's a death charge. We can't actually tell how much health it is. Unfortunate. But yeah, that's that's a terrible trade deal. Holy shit, that's an awful trade deal. Once again, full of shit when it comes to it. Not a single one of these ships actually have have all these ships that were described as having strong AA, not a single one of them ended up having strong AA. That's exactly what I mean, that they, they just lie about it. They lie about it. That's why I said, a dev blog describing a ship as having strong AA is like the biggest nerf you can have to a ship. Because it's all bullshit. There's no strong AA to be had. It doesn't exist. Yo, tier 5. Here we go. Rio de Janeiro. 48.4k health. That's pretty good. 19mm plating. Everything ever matches each other at this tier anywhere. Uh, 7x2, 3 of 5. 16 cam range. 32% fire chance, this tier is probably quite nice. 76mm HE pen. Jesus. Wait, it gets quarter? It gets quarter pen. Oh shit. Yeah, it gets quarter pen. It doesn't get uh, one sixth, it gets quarter. Oh shit. So it gets like the Royal Navy uh, national flavor. Interesting. That's gonna sit at a lot of ships. That's gonna sit at a lot of cruisers. 30 second reload, very slow turret first, 1.7 sigma with 30 second reload on seven, 14 guns, Jesus. I mean, small lands get tier 10 as 70 millimeter play, I think. At, against low tier cruisers, it's easily gonna sit at a lot of them. It's gonna sit at all Omaha's and shit like that. It's tier 5, yeah. Secondary armament, very low range, not worth mentioning. 22, it's very slow. 670, quite good, pretty decent. Surface detect is eh. It gets standard heal, standard DCP. Actually, long duration, 20 second DCP, American DCP. Wait, it gets American DCP? It gets American DCP, but Royal Navy HE flavor. Okay, that's a nice combination to get. Long heal as well. With decent values. Hmm. Well, some of the, the a lot of the ships look interesting, but obviously everything that they mentioned about the AA was a lie. There's actually no good AA at all. Everything about the AA was a lie. A lot, a lot of interesting, a lot of gimmicks used. That that new tier seven gunboat looks kind of scary. Looks kind of scary, honestly. It comes running at you. Whew, you're not gonna have a good time. Luckily, the heal is pretty weak, so provided you get to use your smoke enough during the fight, you can outtrade it. 